Hey guys, uh, Chris here. Um, I just wanted to preface the following video before you watch it by saying two things. First of all, I'm sorry that it's kind of long. I'm a little bit tired. We've been working really hard to try to get the machines done as quickly as possible and as well as possible. Uh, the second thing I wanted to mention is um, I realized that when I was running these deflection tests, I never actually had the machine secured down in any way. So the movement that you'll be seeing uh, with the dial indicator on both the axes is actually technically the deflection plus the backlash in the system. Um, so take that into account, if you will. Um, most of the, the uh, movement will be from the deflection because in my experience with the uh, Delrin anti-backlash nuts on all the axes, once you snug them up, the backlash is very, very close to zero but I just wanted to preface the following video by saying that um, you should take that into account as well. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, it's Chris here. So many of you have been asking about the deflection of the long mill. Back when we were making the media for the Kickstarter, I had made a video showing the deflection, but I'm not really sure where it's gotten to so I decided I would just film another one. So um, how I'm gonna be running this test is, as you can see, I've got the dial indicator set up. It's not the most rigid setup. You can see it still kind of moves around, but I've basically got it as low to the table as I can get it reasonably um, so that I can get the deflection of the bit furthest from the mounting area, which is obviously up where the gantry is. Now this is the 30 by 30 and so when I'm running this test I'm running it with both gantries placed in the middle of both of their rails. That way it's at its least rigid point. Um, so basically I'm just running this test to show what the worst case scenario is. As far as measuring the deflection I'm going to be measuring it in both the X and the Y axes. So right now I'm starting off in the X axis. Obviously it's going to be more sturdy in the x-axis because it's got the four-wheel configuration. Um, so it's, that's what's going to stop it from twisting side to side. Um, but we'll move on to the y-axis afterwards which is going to show kind of like the twisting or the torsion of the, uh, the x-axis rails. Uh, so what I'm using here is a luggage scale. Um, this is going to allow me to pull on the bit in the one direction with a predictable amount of force or a measurable amount of force I should say um, which will show where the deflection is happening um, and at what amount of force. So from what I've seen, what my experience is with the machine and some uh, rough order of magnitude calculations that I've run Usually the max load you should expect to see on a larger size bit doing uh, deep, deeper passes and large step overs like maybe a 100% engagement is maybe like three to four and a half kilograms of force is being exerted on the uh, end mill here. So I'm just going to measure it for three. Um, and so if I turn this on, you'll see that, I'll zoom this in here. You'll see that once I start pulling on it and I hold it, it uh, shows the final uh, weight or force that was exerted on it. So let me just get that set up here. I'll focus on the dial here and I'll also uh, zero it approximately. So let's give this a tug. And that's about three kilograms there. As you can see, I can do another one at four.
that's around four there. Oh. Let's try that again. There we go. As you can see, it's 4.03 kilograms. So yeah, as you can see in the x-axis, there's not a whole lot of play. And like, if I press it as, as hard as I can, <clears throat> yeah, you can see that I'm getting like maybe, maybe 0.015 inches of movement, but again, that's with, uh, I don't know, I have like quite a few kilograms of potential pushing force, but obviously um, with what you'd normally experience, the like cutting forces on the bit, is probably like a, a pretty forceful push from the finger, and you can see how much that's moving the dial indicator there. Maybe five or six. <sighs> Plus or minus. So uh, yeah, let me get it set up in the other direction for you here. All right, so once again, I've got it set up as uh, close and in line as possible to the bottom. Obviously, you could probably get a little bit further extension out here, but you know, this is already a distance of three inches off of the uh, bed here, so you know, you're, it's not going to get a whole lot further unless you're cutting much thinner material, in which case uh, deflection isn't too much of an issue, unless it's like softer metal sheet or something like that. But anyway, I'll zoom this back in onto the indicator. It's uh, relatively zeroed. And I'll put three kilograms on it to start. All right. It's about 3.2. And I'll do it four kilograms. There you go, four point oh eight. And this is how it looks. Um, just moving it around by hand. You can see the y-axis has a little bit more play to it. So if you want to be doing deeper cuts, it's better to do it in the x-axis, obviously because of the design of the machine. It's going to be more rigid in the x-axis than it is in the y. But even so, you know, I'm giving it quite a bit of force here. And it's maybe, you know, anywhere from 8 to 10, maybe, in both directions. And if I gave it, like, a lot of force, once again, I can maybe get it to 15. Oh, man. The rigidity of this machine is it's very nice. Obviously... It's nowhere close to any sort of industrial machine, um, but, you know, I think we've designed it pretty well. I'd say in terms of trying to compare, you know, our deflection stats to uh, other machines, just be wary because a lot of the times when they're telling you how much it'll deflect by, they don't tell you how much force that deflection is for so you know 
someone could tell you that the deflection is just like a couple thou or something like that, but you don't know how much force they're applying. Because obviously, if I apply like a minuscule amount of force, it'll only move one thou. So, yeah, just be mindful of that. But anyways, hopefully that um, shows you what you were looking for, and um, let me know if you have any other questions.